Hey guys, welcome back. In the video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can install a SeaTech D250SE DC to DC battery charger into your camper van. It's coming up. These are the materials I've got for the install today. So first things first, I've got our actual SeaTech unit itself, but this all came as part of a, a kit. So it came in kit form with all the wires and all the connections and, and everything that we need. So I've got the um, black cable, which is gonna be for earth. I've got our red cable, which is gonna be for our, our positive that's gonna run from our main battery alternator through to the SeaTech unit and then from the SeaTech unit to our leisure battery. Um, also got this red wire here. Now I'm going to explain what that's for in a little bit in more detail as well. But essentially that leads to the point that the SeaTech unit is quite often needed if you have a smart alternator in your van. So you may have watched one of my previous videos and in our van initially we just had a normal switch relay. Um, and that didn't work. So this has now had to be a bit of a retrofit because we had issues with the split charge relay, wasn't kicking in properly, we weren't getting the voltage. So we've had to do this, this upgrade as well. So I guess one of the mistakes um, we made with our conversion was maybe we should have gone for the CTEC to start with. But in terms of the wiring, the wiring is gonna be pretty much um, identical to the split charge relay with the addition of one additional um, negative that's gonna run directly to the negative of, of the battery, the leisure battery itself as well from the SeaTech. But what I'll do um, after we've gone through the kit, I'm gonna go through the wiring in a little bit more detail and then show you how we're gonna get that fit into our van. In terms of the wiring then, this is what we're, we're gonna be wiring up actually in, in the van. So the first thing we'll do, we're gonna wire this to uh, the actual main vehicle battery itself. And then from the main vehicle battery, that will then go into a 30 amp fuse. So this is kind of the, the fuse holder itself. So we'll go, the wire will essentially go through there itself. Um, and that will then run from the fuse, will then run to the A, positive terminal on the SeaTac unit. And then over here, we're gonna continue the, the positive side of the circuit, so on the out. And that positive is gonna then run to firstly another fuse. So it'll run to another fuse, another 30 amp fuse. And then from that 30 amp fuse, that will then run to the positive terminal of the leisure battery. So that's the, the positive side. In terms of the, the negative side, so we're gonna have the uh, negative, which is gonna be our black, and that's gonna run from the negative terminal on our SeaTech unit, and that is gonna run to the negative terminal on our leisure battery. And our leisure battery itself is then gonna have um, a common earth. So we've already got the common earth, which is fixed to the chassis of the van and that negative of the um, leisure battery will run directly to, to that common earth. So fairly simple in terms of the wiring. We haven't got any solar, but this SeaTech unit does support solar panel input as well. But I'm not gonna go through that in this video because we haven't got any solar panels in the van at the moment. So that's not gonna be relevant for us. The other thing that you get on the SeaTech, you'll see this connection here. And what that is, is for a temperature sensor, which you can attach to your, your actual leisure battery itself. And that's gonna monitor the, the temperature of the battery itself, just to make sure everything is, is running as it should be. The other two little wires, which I wanna go through in a little bit more detail, you've got a little red and a black wire that are coming off the SeaTech unit as well. Now I'm gonna start with the, the black wire so the black one is if you have an AGM battery, you're to connect that to the earth. The red wire is a little bit more, more complex. So this is gonna be running to get 
um, what's known as an ignition feed. So what we're going to have to do here, this has to be run back to the fuse box in the actual van itself. The reason for that is it needs to get an ignition speed, an ignition speed, an ignition feed, not a vegetable, an ignition feed to know how to trigger the CTEC unit. So essentially when the ignition is triggered in the car, it needs some um, way to get that input to know that it can be triggered. So in order to do that, we have to use a little thing here, which is a, a piggyback fuse spur type thing. I think that's the name of it. So what's gonna happen, we're gonna take a connection off this red wire here. We're gonna run the wire through to the front of the van where the fuse box is. And we're gonna find a fuse that we know is gonna be triggered only when the ignition is on. So an example might be fog lights, for example, we know that they only will trigger um, when the ignition is turned on. Uh, windscreen wipers might be something else. So this will go into the, the fuse panel in the van. We'll insert the original fuse here, but then we're gonna put one additional fuse in as well, which is gonna be the fuse for, for the CTEC. So not particularly complicated in, in terms of the operation. The only thing we just need to make sure we do a good job of is kind of routing this cable from where the CTEC is in the back of the van, routing that forward to the fuse box in the, the front of the van as well and, and hiding all of, the, all of the cables. So that is the plan. What I'm gonna do is get this all wired in, first of all, just to make sure everything is, is working back in the van. And then after we've done that, we'll go to a final fix, make sure that everything is um, can be positioned, we'll tidy all the wires up, and then hopefully do a trial run and get this working. Okay, so back in the van now, I'm getting on to the next part of the CTEC install. So the first thing I've done is I am running my ignition um, switch. So as we mentioned in the previous video, this is gonna piggyback off one of the um, fuses in the main fuse board in the van and that's going to get the signal to the CTEC when something um, has been switched on the ignition. Um, so mistake I made, there's different types of these that you can get. So the first one I got was this one and this is for I guess a normal size fuse but actually in the Ford Transit Custom it has these mini uh, mini blade fuses so these are smaller so I had to get a slightly different um, piggyback uh, adapter so that was fit with the the mini blade fuses so how this works I think we mentioned before you put the original fuse in and then you put a separate fuse in which is going to be the the fused circuit then for the CTEC so I've routed this to the the fuse box and the cable now has just kind of ran on the outside of the bodywork here. So I've just lifted back some of the trim and that's gone all the way up. And that now comes out here, where it's actually then gonna go into the, the back of the van and eventually then run through the units into where the CTEC lives. So that's the, the first part. I'm gonna go through the next part of the wiring. So the next part of the wiring then, so the first thing here, I've got the, the main power cable, and that is gonna run back to the, the CTEC unit. So I've just run that through the units itself, and that's gonna connect up to this fuse here. And then from the fuse, that's then gonna go to the, um, the main battery. So this just hooks under um, the, the main driver's seat where the main battery lives. This was the wire. Um, a thin red wire that was our ignition switch wiring and again that's now just going to run through the units so we've got the, the thin red wire here and then this is the the main power wire that's going to run to the to the CTEC so going to run that all the way through to, to the back where the electrics are ignore that wire that's just for um, the lighting which needs to tidy up and this white wire ignore that as well that's for the the fridge switch and that one is for the 12 volt for the fridge so ignore those the ones we're concentrating on is this thin red wire for the ignition switch and that power wire as well so eventually these are going to run all the way through um, the units 
So both the ignition switch wire and this red power wire as well. I know it looks a bit messy at the moment, but it's all gonna be tidied up. And they are eventually then gonna run all the way back into our electrics cupboard at the back of the van. And that's where the CTEC unit is gonna fit. So next stage, I'm just gonna continue running these wires through, get them all cut down to the right, the right shape. Uh, they're not the right shape, the right length. Uh, and then we're gonna be in a position to start wiring some stuff up. Okay, so that's the CTEC unit now all wired in and powered up. So just to run through the, the connections again now. So what we've got here, terminal A, that is the input from the alternator slash the main car battery, which is wired up at the front. And then from there, we have the um, positive output, excuse me. And the positive output then runs to a fuse. And then the fuse runs to the positive of our battery. In terms of the uh, negative side, so on the negative side of the battery, this now runs from the negative, which is the, the point here on the top right, and that runs directly to the uh, negative terminal on the leisure battery. Um, from the leisure battery as well, that is where we take a feed for our common earth, which runs to the, um, the common earth point on the van itself. In terms of the other two little wires, so the red and black wire that we talked about, so the black wire, um, that now terminates to our common earth bus bar and the red wire that now runs all the way through to the front um, which is into our fuse board as we talked about before or the fuse box in the main van to get an ignition feed. Um, I am going to check the, the book, <laughs> check the guide, but this little green light I think now indicates that we've got an, a live ignition feed there as well. So that's all the, the wiring done, it's all connected up um it's just a case now of doing some testing so in order to test um first of all we can see we've got got no power so what should hopefully happen is let's switch our master switch on cool so we're showing now 12.6 volts which means the ignition's not running and we're not getting any um additional power to, to start charging the battery um, so what should hopefully happen is now when we turn on the ignition we should see a shift in this voltage now and that should jump up to around 14.2 or, or something like that which will show that the, um, the relay is working and we're getting a charge to the battery when the engine and ignition is running. So let's give that a try now. Okay so just switched on the ignition now for the van so we've, we've got the engine running. And yeah, we can now see that this has jumped up to 14.7, which has shown us we're, we're getting a charge now from the alternator trickling into the battery. I did have a mild panic. When it first switched on, it was only still showing 12.7. And I think that's because it's going to prioritise charging the main vehicle battery first. And once that's up to the required voltage, it's then going to kick in and start charging the, the leisure battery as well. So if you do this yourself, maybe just leave it for a few minutes and make sure that that voltage comes on. So yeah, really happy with that, um, all looking good. All that remains now is to do a bit of a tidy up of some of our cables and where these are all running through the van. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with that, all good. Got me CTEC working. So onwards with the tidy. Thanks so much for watching guys, really appreciate all of the support. Give us a like and if you like this video, check out some more on the other parts of the channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe and the bell icon. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.